Good morning, it's Tim Wilde. Um, I'm inside today for my Friday Ascension update because uh, this is actually my second attempt at recording and uh, the first one resulted in me wiping my nose about five times so I thought I'd actually come inside and do it because rather than it's, it's just simply not the damn thing is it, sit there wiping your nose. So I want to talk a little bit this morning about choices okay because I'm receiving a lot of um, righteously very concerned messages and emails from from souls who are very worried about friends who are um, family members colleagues partners and uh, some some older children as well who are making decisions about um, a certain medical procedure at the moment now as you know if you've watched my videos previously i don't tend to use trigger words the ones that the algorithms and th those who watch social media will pick up on but it begins with v okay so there's your there's there's the biggest clue that you're going to get and um so with all of this kind of you know global rollout of this this medical intervention and very very divided camps about what it is what it's actually for whether it should be taken or not what i'm going to do is just kind of basically give you what my what how i'm feeling about it and what my personal opinions are for me personally and for my family it's a no no okay and i said that right from the very start it's not something that we are participating in and but that is <clears throat> i'm also blessed on that side is that the, the majority of my camp the un, underneath my my roof also share that and that's not because i've i've forced my opinions or anything like that it's simply because it's it's uh, for a lot of us it's a it's what we call a natural gut instinct it's either something that you are feeling very um inclined to participate in or it's something which immediately you are presented with the information and the circumstances all the red flags fly up so what do we do about those of us around us who are opting probably mostly out of fear and 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 other sources of information that have come via the media who are choosing to do this now one thing that i've been looking into the energy of is the actual physical effects and and the power that this procedure has over an individual and um, the, the one thing that I think is important to to highlight is that for many of us it's a make or break for the ascension process now I personally don't think that that is what <laughs> this is designed to do or it's the effect that it has because if you look at it from the point of view that if you hand that much power over to say allopathic medicine or the effects of all the all the kind of the the inconsistencies of the human body that again that, that that's just simply handing your power away i don't think that anything on a physical level in the realm that we are currently existing in will have the power to stop the ascension process in any way shape or form in fact the the actual thought or the concept of something being designed and, and put on this planet to stop the ascension process and the power that and the impetus and the organization behind it is almost laughable if you think about it from a higher perspective. There is nothing that is going to stop this ascension process. It's, it's happening. It's, it's, it's rolling out before our very eyes, although the chaos at the moment would be a good indicator that <clears throat> for a lot of people that they, 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 it's not occurring. I've never felt this way. I've always I've always been told right from the very start that there would be a very intensive period of of chaotic changeover. Change is chaotic. If people aren't ready to change, then in a, in many circumstances there will be chaos as they are pushed through that change doorway. So back to the original kind of concept of of those of you that are worried about the the members you know the your loved ones that are choosing to do this in this instance and in many other instances we are 
as it's, it's unfortunate to a certain degree as spiritual souls on the ascension pathway with the level of responsibility that we have in the agreements that we've made our hands are tied and and they're tied in a in a manner which in we there is no save and no rescue basically uh, where, where we are i know for a lot of us that is extreme that is an extremely difficult concept to swallow because we are naturally by our very instincts we we want to we want to assist we want to help we want to make the world a better place we want to reach out and pull somebody out of a difficult situation and place them somewhere where it is sunny and the grass is green and but that is not how lessons are learned <clears throat> that is not how um the evolution of consciousness and the soul is progressing at the moment there are still quite a few people that are existing on this planet that need to step through a certain gateway in order to learn the lessons or learn the uh, or dissolve that that veil of illusion that is still kind it's almost like a phantom veil of illusion that is still in place that is stopping or preventing people from seeing what the actual reality of it is so where we are at the moment we've got this the, again it's 3d 5d mars and venus and there's two very different camps of consciousness and quite often we have those different camps of consciousness existing under our own roofs and it's extremely it's extremely tricky to navigate but this is what make, this is what we've incarnated for this is what makes us so good at our jobs this is why we have been trained for lifetime after lifetime to actually deal with what is being presented with us at the moment so what can we do what can we do the again it's the old the old i don't know whether it's just an english term but it's the old saying you can take a horse to water you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink that water so you can put information out you can speak your truth you can plant seeds you can make things as obvious as they possibly can be but you simply cannot change somebody's mind you can't do somebody's ascension process for them at some point you have to simply stand back and say well this is your decision this is your choice regardless of how close to home that might be that is kind of where we are with it at the moment and um for some of us it might be one of the biggest tests that we step through at the moment is actually allowing people to do this or not it's it's um if you think about it on a on a on a personal level it's not like we really have an awful lot of choice you can't simply change somebody's mind by shouting at them by give it by speaking to them we live in an age now where we are completely spoiled for information if you go on to the internet you know the the the, the great interweb of things there is an abundance of information but what information you tune into what information that people choose to ingest again it's down to personal choice there is information which resonates with the truth and there is information which doesn't and they are both in equal quantities the information in my opinion that does not resonate with the truth is usually the one that is the most easily accessible it comes through the tv it's in the newspapers it's in you know you only have to flick through facebook and it, it it's kind of blaring out it's um <laughs> generally speaking if 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 the media is telling you to do something then then usually you should sit back and actually quite well you know why should i do that you know what 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 do they want to gain from it so all you can do is be you okay hold your light as high as possible speak your truth give the information out but as soon as this conferring of information turns into a conflict that is the time to step back because you can do no more okay now this again is a very similar scenario to the days and, and i remember them well i actually had the memory come back to me in 2014 the final days of atlantis where the masses were in the thrall of this kind of lower frequency energy they were just like give us more give us more we want to we want to party we want to have a good time all the distractions were there kind of and and that that was the energy whilst the high priests and the priestesses and the initiates and all of the souls that were working for the light who knew 
that the fall was coming were shouting from the rooftops that we, we, we were on our pedestals speaking like you know pleading with the masses to listen to us because if they didn't change their methods of behavior that Atlantis was going to sink and they didn't listen uh, that, that simply what we're doing is seeing a recreation of that blueprint that's played 10,000 years down the line but this time things are very different because Atlantis isn't falling our planet is ascending so what we are seeing is we're seeing the release of this blueprint we're seeing the it's it's being it's being returned back to source it's it's source has learned what it needs to learn from the passage through 3d and those of us that are choosing to step through the ascension gateway are doing so and nothing is going to prevent that okay it's um this there's been so many questions over the year can this be halted can it be stopped can 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 the can can the baddies as i call them the baddies the villains or the the the, the you know the, the the show villains stop this planet from ascending and it's 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 not it's not going to happen in any way shape or form so for those of you that are investing a lot of stress or a lot of concern in this situation all i can advise you to do at the moment is simply give your opinion, speak your truth, plant the seeds, make sure that the information that you have, if you have it, is available, but step back, okay? In order for us to move through the phase that we're in at the moment into the next phase, people have to have learnt a certain aspect or a certain lesson that is being presented at the moment. And whereas the majority of us have already got this concept we've already learned it those of us that are still still you know working through this um it's funny it's the i was thinking about it recently thinking about it last week and it's almost like the it is the the release that is going on or the blueprint that's being presented as at the moment as well as well as the the release of the fall of atlantis which has been going on for some time is the alchemization or the dissolving of the concept of religious belief now to me a religious belief is a is a dogmatic belief in a system that is technically unproven it's pages in a book it's writings it's his story history that's being presented by a soul or a group of souls that are saying this is the truth this is the way you know this you know you believe this you believe nothing else you believe you, you believe our concept our way of thinking but they've got no real evidence to back it up and if you look for that evidence the trail kind of peters off into into kind of um places that can't really be explained correctly and that's kind of what's going on <clears throat> it's almost like 3d science has become the religion of the modern day okay so what's going on at the moment is this this huge kind of release or dissolving of a belief system or a dogmatic attitude to you know just taking on board anything that's presented at you from a mainstream source and and you know as far as they're concerned that's the gospel truth that needs to be released, that needs to be worked through, and that can't be taken away from the people that are choosing to navigate it at the moment in time. I don't think, if I'm honest, that it's going to be going on for a huge amount of time longer. If um, those of you that have been following me for a while, you remember that in 2019, in the, oh, when was it? It was the Lionsgate 2019, Merlin and the higher forces activated what we call the storm layer around the planet. And I was told that, that was going to run for three seasons. Well, by this August, we're going to be moving into the last year or the last season or the cycle of the storm layer. And I was told from this August onwards that it was going to be starting to wind down. So, yeah, we've got another eight months or another seven months of intensive clearing where people are going to be releasing their blueprints. We're here to assist and guide that process. We're not victims of it. We're here to usher it in. We're here to anchor the light. We're here to call the shots and make sure that it is guided in the correct direction. And the transition from one state of consciousness to another 
occurs naturally, smoothly, fluidly, without kind of, you know, the drama and explosions that can kind of occur on the way. But of course, that's it's, it, this is planet Earth and you never know what you're going to get or what's going to kind of be on the table, really. So just this, the, these are my musings. These are my thoughts for the end of this this week. And uh, like I said previously, I've actually taken considerable steps to move back from the, the kind of the energy of the field. It's more important that you and I and the other souls on this particular aspect of the pathway are holding the light as high and as bright as possible. So there is a very solid high frequency platform for people to make these realizations in and healing is available up the the if, if you're concerned about people's well-being at the moment how they're going to be faring in the future if they do interact with this 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 um this medical intervention then nothing it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what the kind of you know, it's, it's quite a, quite a intensive con theory out there that you know, once taken, there's no going back. That's not how the human body works, and it's not how um, you know. There's nothing within us, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, that is unfixable. Okay, that 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 just doesn't occur. The the human body and the 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 soul that we are incarnate as is the most magnificent. It is the most magnificent thing, and we are only tapping into a very, very small fraction of the power that we have over ourselves and the environment around us. So this is something that we've got to learn. This is going to be rolling out. And um, keep your light high, your frequency clear, your manifestation sharp. And <clears throat> I know it's, I don't mean this from a selfish point of view, but be very highly aware of your own processes at the moment. Instead of worrying about what everybody else is doing, keep yourself in centre. Because that is the greatest gift that you can give to everyone and everything around you. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're shining as high and as brightly as possible, every single other person around you will have the opportunity to rise to that frequency. If you're scattered if you're worried if you're ungrounded if you're taking on other people's fear or if you're worrying about situations that's when power begins to it, it begins to dissipate and it gets replaced by the old 3d blueprint that is constantly trying to, to trying to sort of hook us back in again so i hope i made sense this morning and um because this is very much what we are all being presented with at the moment. It doesn't matter where you are, what country and what walk of life you are, are, are taking. This will be within your sphere of reality. It's absolutely everywhere. It's a global thing. So just allow yourself to stay in your light, in your power as much as possible. And when the occasions arise, present the information. If you don't know what that information is, then it can easily be found on, on the Internet. But generally speaking, Google's not the way to go with that. And, yeah, it's simply a case of allowing the situation at the moment to flower and develop as it as it is intended to. In a lot of cases, people are and, and, and this has been me on occasions as well has attempted to intervene and energetically because we don't like the way it's going. We're finding it kind of, it's, it's right, okay, this looks threatening, this, the, the, the future of this does not look good. In actual fact, it's when that happens, I myself, I've, I've you know, fallen off the wagon slightly and begun to mistrust the plan. The plan is solid, okay? The transition from 3D to 5D is solid. There are no deviations from that, that is happening whether it, it, does, it doesn't matter what's occurring the planet is ascending and we are all stepping through with it and nothing can prevent that it doesn't matter how hard it, it how hard they try how how villainous or devious they become it's it's just simply fireworks that aren't going to be you can you can light like i said previously you can light the fuse on them and they can fizzle and they can bang but they will never be the explosive display 
that they were intended to be. So, I hope you all have a beautiful end to the week. I hope you have a lovely weekend. We've got a full moon in Leo today, which um, that always it always works works like a charm for me. Most of my most of my planets and my sun sign is a Leo. So, and um, Mercury retrograde starts tomorrow. I know, like most of you, like the howl, howls and so. Oh no, it's another retrograde sort of thing. But I quite like retrogrades. I think they're good because everything slows down. The the mechanical workings that aren't <laughs> working properly get properly get revealed. And um, and it's just a good time to review everything that might not be working properly. I know we've had plenty of time, particularly in 2020, to review things. It's just seemed like the, mo- the majority of time during 2020, there was a clutch of planets, big planets, in, in retrograde. Well, this is the first Mercury retrograde of this year. We've got three weeks of it. And um, so review, regenerate, recuperate. Hold your light high and just watch the fun as it as it all rolls out. Sending you loads of love. Hope you have a beautiful end to the week. See you soon. Bye for now.